As an al-Qaeda-inspired group vows to march on Baghdad, President Barack Obama says Iraq needs U.S. help. The militants captured two key Sunni-dominated cities this week. We do have a stake in making sure that uh, these jihadists are not getting a permanent foothold uh, in either Iraq uh, or Syria, for that matter. American forces withdrew in 2011. Meanwhile, Iraq has faced increasing violence. To declare that a conflict is over does not mean that it necessarily is over. Republicans are outraged over what they see as an administration unwilling to do more to help stabilize the security situation in Iraq. And what's the president doing? Taking a nap. But Democrats say it shouldn't be the U.S.'s fight. I don't think there's any appetite in our country for us to become engaged in any more uh, military activity in Iraq. One analyst puts the blame squarely on the government of Iraqi President Nouri al-Maliki and his Shia Muslim government. Right now, the way Maliki is governing, you can't have a military fix for this sort of problem. It's fundamentally a political problem. It's driven by the fact that Sunnis in particular feel totally cut off and disenfranchised. Senior U.S. officials say the administration is considering whether to conduct drone missions in Iraq, but was not looking to put boots on the ground. Matt Friedman, Associated Press.